Kratos? The renegades and Crucius are enemies, aren't they? So why... Quiet. Of course, the drug should have everyone sleeping soundly. Drug? Where's my dad? If you've done anything to my dad, I'll tear every last one of you to pieces! Now, now. Is that the way to act when you're about to meet your father for the first time? So it was you. You were the assassin who tried to kill me at Hyma. Kratos, it was like really obvious that he was the assassin. I, I still don't understand how Kratos didn't notice it was Ewan. Kratos, if you value your son's life at all, do as we say. What are you talking about? Release Origin's seal. Otherwise, Lloyd will die right here. No. Kratos can't be my dad. I, I can't believe that. I won't believe that. Believe it. How does it feel to have your own son reject you like that? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's slow down the pace here. Would me reject Kratos? I guess from your attitude, you don't plan on releasing Origin. If that's the way it's going to be, then you'll just have to die. Uh. One move and your son dies. You changed once you got a family, just like that time 15 years ago. When Anna was transformed into a monster, you lost your ability to fight back. What? If she hadn't been together with you, she would have never turned out like that. Such an unfortunate woman. Don't mock my mom. That sidestep. Kratos? It was like the SMT5 misanimation. Are you alright? Good. <laughs> Not Kratos. Hi, Colette. Lovely Boy, evening, isn't it? What's wrong? What's going on? There's nothing I love more than, you know, waking up in the evening, being threatened with two slow swords right at the door. What am I... what am I supposed to believe? Lloyd, calm down. It's not true. Kratos can't be the man who betrayed us and made you suffer. He couldn't possibly be my dad. Lloyd, don't lose sight of who you are. No matter who your parents are, no matter your background, you're still you. I'm... me? You're the one who told me that no matter what I look like, even if I become an angel, I'm st And don't forget, Kratos saved you. Sorry, I pressed X too fast. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <sighs> but I still can't call you Dad. Lloyd. I hate what you... What Crucius does. Too many people have died. People from Silveron, people from Tetheala. Desions and renegades and members of Crucius. They're all victims. I refuse to accept the idea that it's okay to sacrifice people for a cause. It's not okay to lose any life. No life should be born for the sole purpose of dying. I won't sacrifice the world to save Colette. I'm not giving up until I find a way for everyone to live. Wow, that was an amazingly corny speech. Congratulations. Mythos? Ah, what a shock! Mythos is a killer, who could have guessed? I mean, it's not really blatantly obvious until you do the Eugrasil stuff, because that basically, like, confirms it before actually witnessing this. Like, there's no possible way you can... Did you think I didn't notice what was going on? How pathetic. There's no way you could play this game, get to the Eugrasil part, and be like, Oh, Mythos is Eugrasil? That's a shock. <laughs> like, that's basically confirming it at that point. They had Pronemi keep tabs on Kratos, since it seemed he was leaking information to Lloyd's group. Damn it! Yudrasil! How the hell did you find out? What? That was a pretty amusing scheme you had going. Hard to believe those filthy renegades that were always getting in my way were actually led by you. If it weren't for my sister's wishes to spare your life, I'd kill you right now. 
<laughs> now we get to witness Ewan in an infinite loop of getting kicked. Man, if only Genus, like, actually, like, warned us or told us about this, like, as soon as he knew, because Mythos, or not Mythos, Genus basically knew, like, oh, Mythos is probably Eudrasio when he saw the panpipe. If only Genus gave us, like, a warning, like... That's all on Genus. I think Genus should have, like, gave us a heads up. Like, oh, guys, I think I... I think I know who, uh, Eugasio really is. Even if it was just a hunch. Even though it's obvious at that point. Stop it! What are you... What's going on? Mythos. So it's true. What's true? That you shouldn't have trusted me? Good guess, Genus. Because I didn't trust you either. Oh, dang. <sighs> How would you aim at Perseo? Mythos saved me. Shut up. Tio, no! Mythos saved me. Mythos. Rest in peace, Kim, my guest. How could you do that? You even risked your life to save her. He was probably irritated by her voice. <laughs> Mythos, why? Why are you doing this? How could you hurt Tabitha and Altessa? You got along so well with them. Tabitha. That doll looks so disturbingly like my sister. I never could stand her. She's a failed vessel who couldn't accept my sister's soul. Just looking at her makes me sick. You little bastard. How dare you betray my best friend! Floyd, stop! Please, you're both my friends! Lord Yggdrasil, your wounds are not yet healed. Please, leave this to the angels. Alright. Brothers, come back. Oh, hey, you guys. Out of the way. Lloyd's sword was like clipping through his hair. Character should see someone about the whole like weapons clipping gay. through <laughs> hair <laughs> syndrome they got going on. <laughs> you must die. That's all there is to it. I'm trying to use Dragon Claw this game. Fine. Why is my Dragon Claws not coming out? I didn't take it out, did I? Okay, there we go. Eating my inputs game? How dare you? You don't cast it now. Oh, you got to cast it. I was really hoping I could stop you. I totally believe it can happen. The surprising thing is that you thought you would actually win. <laughs> no life should be born for the sole purpose of dying? What do you think those x are that you're using? Let's try Mythos. We already had the plot point of like, oh, X Spheres may have a bit of a detriment for us, but like, they're the best possible outcome right now. Because they make us stronger and everything, and you know, they have some benefits, even if they're quite risky. Are you alright? With this, all our efforts have been rendered useless. We plan to form the pact with Origin and use the Eternal Sword. Correct. And then we would use the Mannequin to destroy that Infernal Tower. Allowing the Great Seed to sprout. That was our plan upon learning of your existence from a Design Insider. I was certain I'd be able to force Kratos to participate. You didn't approve of Mythos' Age of Half-Elves? That plan was the result of a twisted perception of Martell's last wish. It's not what she truly desired. What was Martell's last wish? She said she wanted to see a world free from discrimination. You shouldn't move. No, there's no time. I must evacuate the renegades before they're killed by Yggdrasil. Wait, is Kratos really the only one who could release Origin's seal? Yes, the seal will be released upon freeing the mana from his body. 
If he does that, he's likely to lose his life. Yes, the seal's based on his own life. Kratos' life? Are you saying we have to trade his life in order to get the Eternal Sword? Lord, you won't be able to use the Eternal Sword. It doesn't require the power of a summoner. You must merely be acknowledged by origin. However, there's only one thing you cannot do anything about. What do you mean? Ujassi and Mythos said that too. Only half-elves can wield it. That sword was created by Origin for Mythos. What? Oh well. There's no way we're having Genus wield it. Oh Lloyd. Don't talk. Don't push yourself. Altessa saved me. Please, Professor, please save him. I'm doing everything I can. Mythos, why? Why did he do this? Game? That was weird. Tabitha. Welcome. Please, state. I'm so sorry I failed to protect you. That's rough. Is Atessa gonna be all right? I managed to administer a first aid using the unicorn horn. We should bring a doctor as soon as we can. Yeah, unlike us, Altessa isn't using an X-Sphere. Healing arts won't be very effective. I know a good doctor. We call him from Flanora when our chief suffered a serious injury. Let's go there, Lloyd. Let's call the doctor for Altessa. Okay, Flanora, right? Let's go. I think... Okay, so basically what happens now is... We have the Flanora Doctor stuff go on, and then the scene. It's the big scene for, like, oh, where well, you can recruit Kratos. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, what we need to do is go to Flanor, get the Doctor, I think? And then I think we have to go for the final Kratos scene. The final material Kratos scene or something. I mean, this really was you, Drassiel. Genus, you knew it, didn't you? Why didn't you say anything? Yeah, why didn't you? He said I didn't want to believe it. Okay. He was my friend. He was so nice. That doesn't excuse your actions, Genus. Genus, don't let them trouble you. Don't let them, don't let them lead you astray. Do you understand? I know, I know, but the tears just won't stop. Yeah, whatever. Um... I think it's after you get the doctor. I gotta hang on. I gotta see this. Kratos scene. I think we have to get the doctor first, or maybe we can do it now. I think it takes place at Altessa's house, so I think we have to get the doctor first. I'm trying to remember if they let me do anything after getting the doctor, though, but that's why I'm leaving a save there. Just in case. Granted, I might still be able to get Kratos even without that scene, but two things. One, I want to see the scene because I've never seen these scenes before. And two, just to be sure, we're just going to try going to Flanor and see what happens. I think they'll let me leave after getting the doctor, though. Huh? Where's Zelos? What's wrong with him? Why is he wandering off at the time like this? If we don't have a choice, let's go see the doctor first. Good doctor. So why do we have to come all the way out here just to find the doctor? Why indeed. If you want just any doctor regardless of skill, there's plenty available. But with a severe rune like that, there's only a few who could save him. We won't get anywhere by standing around talking about it. We need to hurry. Yeah, I know. Hang in there, Altessa. Alright. Should buy a bunch of accessories when they have enough money. We still only have like 61k gold, and we're gonna need a lot of gold to um do the Lewin quest. So, you know. We're not gonna be uh using gold for a minute. That's why I equipped it the blue Sephira, so we can get more money. Lewin, though, comes first, though. That's our first order of business. Where's this doctor again? 
He's not in the church, is he? Yeah, there's no way. But yeah, I don't know. We, um, I don't remember if they let me move around after getting the doctor. Because I'm a little worried it'll force me to do the scene. Hey, Zealous. Ionis is that weird rock they had me in just- Oh, hey, okay, Ionis is what we, uh, what the final scene's about, so maybe this is a trigger for it. Ionis is the weird rock they had me in just- Use that to make the ring of pact, hmm? Can I really do this? Zealous, there you are. Why are you mumbling to yourself? What, Lloyd, you're late. The hospital's right here, come on, hurry up. Mind over matter? Burr, cold, cold. You're such a wimp, Lloyd. Doesn't matter if I'm a wimp or not, it's still cold. Just don't think about it. And while I'm on the subject, how can you not be cold wearing short sleeves and shirts? What? Now that you mention that, I'm starting to feel really cold. I see what you mean about thinking about it. Hold up. I need to make sure I'm doing this right. Ratos. Gathering material scenes. After you get the doctor for Altessa. So yeah, we should be able to go back after getting the doctor. Because that's what the game is telling me to do. Doctor. Oh my, if it isn't Sheena. It's been a while, how's everyone in Mizuho? It's an emergency, we have someone who's about to die. Oh my, it sounds like things aren't quite peaceful. Quite, aren't quiet and peaceful. Stop standing there and chatting, hurry up and get ready to go. It will cost you. How can you talk about money at a time like this? This is how doctors make their money, Lloyd. I'm not running my business as a charity. You. We'll pay anything, so please hurry. You're taking advantage of people when they're in need. He's a doctor! Fine, we'll give you as much as you like. How much do you want? Let's make it a payment upon success. First, you need to see the patient. Travel expenses and hazard pay will be billed separately. Fine, whatever. And please give me an escort. Let's see. Three of you will be good. Oh, isn't this based on, like, your char the characters with, like, the lowest affinity? We'll take your Riard, okay? Wait, are they gonna force me to do the story? Yeah, okay, I guess I'll wait in the city. Wow, that's some snow. Maybe I could still see the scene even after this. Well, we're gonna see if we got Kratos. Lloyd. Oh, I think this confirms it. Maybe. Did someone just call my name? Let's go. Go Maybe outside. There's someone outside. Huh. Guess I was just hearing things. Lloyd. Yo, let's go. Okay, so I guess the final scene happens after the Kratos scene. I guess that makes sense, though. Kratos doesn't join our party till after the Tower of Salvation's third visit, like at the end of it, so... Alright, interesting. Again, I've never seen these scenes before, and I only got Kratos, like, twice in all my times of playing this game, so... At the very least, I've never seen the Kratos material scenes because they're so hidden and there's no, like, reward for them other than, like, affinity points and just more Kratos. Did you know I was your son the whole time? I realized it when I found Anna's grave at your house. How did Mom die? You know, don't you? Like Prisea, Anna was a research subject of the Angelus Project. They were trying to create a Crucius crystal inside her body. When I learned of Mythos' plan to create an age of lifeless beings, I turned against him and descended upon this land where I met Anna. So Mom was an experimental subject, just like Prisea. After meeting Anna, I realized my mistake in believing that accepting Mythos's vision would be the fastest route to reunite the worlds. I began to search for a way for a human to wield the Eternal Sword. So you can unite the worlds? Yes. However, Anna and I were pursued by Crucius. 
You traveled from place to place, and when you were born, with you as well. But we were finally caught by Kavar. And then Mom was turned into a monster. Her exphere was removed. Lacking a key crest, the mana in her body went out of control, and she turned into a monster. When it tried to devour you, Noish protected you, and Anna regained control of herself momentarily. Noish saved me? That's probably when Noish became sensitive to monsters. Noish and Anna were both wounded. Your mother begged me to kill her. I've heard enough. Anna went out of control again and turned on you. Then I... That's enough! I... killed her. I said that's enough! Calm down, Lloyd. After that, Kavar attacked. Then you and Noish fell down the cliff along with the X-Fear. I fought off Kavar and his men and descended the cliff. But all that was left were the Desayan corpses, half eaten by monsters. I thought there was no way you could still be alive. Is that when you return to Crucius? I am the origin seal itself. Since killing me would break the seal, Yggdrasil couldn't just leave me alone. And you were okay with that? Even though you opposed what he was doing? Everything felt meaningless. Mythos said he would reunite the worlds as soon as Martell was revived. I came to think that as long as the land would return to normal, that would be enough. Until I met you. Me? You remind me of Mythos. Just like you, Mythos was desperately trying to save the world. He didn't give up. No matter how much he was oppressed, he was hopeful. Until the day Martell was killed. A hero. That's what people call him. Yes, but there is a clear difference between you and Mythos. Our race? No, not that. You realize that you are capable of making mistakes. Or rather, if you make a mistake, you are capable of acknowledging it. That takes courage. Mythos, as well as I, were unable to do that. The courage to acknowledge one's mistakes. We were incapable of correcting our flawed path. We gave up on correcting our mistakes. You didn't give up. If you feel that way, then you must have realized it by now. Mistakes can be corrected. It's not too late. Let's look for a way to release Origin without sacrificing your life. Together. I still have something I must do. Until I am able to entrust it to you, I cannot fight alongside you. Something you have to do? The Eternal Sword. Until I am able to entrust it to you, do not die, Lloyd. I'll try, I'm a main character. Kratos, where are you going? Do not allow Yggdrasil to continue as he pleases. He is capable of sacrificing any number of lives. Stop Yggdrasil. Stop Mythos before Colette is taken from you again. I'll stop him. I'll head to Daris Carlon and put an end to this. It's a really nice scene. Alright, cool. We're guaranteed the Kratos route. Nice. Oh, Noish! What's that in your mouth? Oh, is this a continuation of it? A pendant? What is... It's Kratos and... Mom? Then... This baby must be... Me. <laughs> Kratos gave this to you, didn't he? Uh? Okay. I'll hang on to it. Kratos' locket. 